The one hand elevated push up is a good way to introduce some twisting in the upper body as you're doing your pushing movements. If you get a lot of neck tightness when you do push ups, this is a good one to try. So I've just got this bamboo yoga block here. It's very firm, which is important. I wouldn't want it to be super cushy if we can. A uh, thick like cookbook kind of thing works really well. It could be a little higher than this too, but this is about right. I'm just gonna go hands in line with one another and then I'm gonna pull my belly up just slightly like this, straighten the legs. So I got a lot of tension in the abs. And when I come down now, since my left hand is elevated, my shoulder's gonna turn to the left ever so slightly. Uh, so that's the first thing people will mess up. If you try to keep it too symmetrical, you're gonna overload that uh, elevated side shoulder and you're not getting the twisting in the torso that we're looking for. So make sure we got the abs, let the torso twist on the way down. And then when you come up to the top, I want both arms to reach long. It's really easy to let the uh, elevated hand push you over to the other side. We wanna kinda stay there in the middle though. Let me take these off before they fall. <laughs> we wanna kinda stay in the middle so I'm not pushing away from the camera here. I'm not pushing away from the block. I'm loading both sets of these serratus anterior muscles, these just below the armpit muscles equally. And that's one of the key features to this variation being better than a normal variation. Okay, so make sure we're doing that. So here's everything together. We're letting it turn at the bottom and then we're going nice and long at the top with both sides.